What's up guys, it's Mason. You may notice something a little different about me. Who, who could possibly guess? You'll notice it's a different space. This is my room. Um, here's my cat. I wanted to do another reading vlog because I like doing the first one so much. I pre-ordered Any Way the Wind Blows six months ago or something like that, and it finally came. So I was thinking that I could do a sort of reading vlog of, I'm not gonna read this just yet, because honestly, it's been over a year. I kind of want to reread the series before I read this. I thought I'll do a vlog per book. It will mainly focus on Carry On. I'm really excited to read this again. I'm going to start it tonight. I realized that I never actually explained the plot of this book. Carry On is about these two characters who are in a magical boarding school, Simon Snow and Baz Grimpitch. So this book is essentially a parody on Harry Potter, basically, and they are in their eighth year, which is where the book picks up. Something mysterious happens. They have to team up to solve a sort of mystery. There's a lot of inner politics going on. The uh, headmaster of the school, he and Simon are defeating, trying to fight against this, a Voldemort-like character called the Humdrum, which is like taking their magic and shit like that. Come on! Come on, Greta. Hundred pages in, and it's really weird to be back in this world. I kind of forgot how slow of a start it ha is. Like Baz isn't even here until like 50 more pages or something. The constant info dumping is definitely harder to get through on a reread. Um, but I'm still enjoying it. I I do really love this book but I don't know, it's probably gonna take me so long to get through. And I have a job interview tomorrow, so I won't be able to do anything tomorrow, so I'm kind of freaking out about this video. I have my job interview today and I'm panicking. I can feel the anxiety in my stomach. This has nothing to do with the vlog, but I finished Dune and the graphic novel and it was really good. Highly recommend, I wanna read the real book now. Guess who just got a job? I'm finally gonna get a stable income. I just set up my camera, so I think I'm going to film a video of like my favorite books of all time. So, but to update you, I'm 110 pages in, so still not that far. I'm getting closer. Bro, this young, young royal show on Netflix, go see this. <laughs> it's almost 3 a.m. And I wanted to read tonight. I just woke up. I really need to get reading, so I think I'm gonna spend 
all day reading. Better get to it. Real quick, I want to do a mini book haul. The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. The Hounds of Baskerville by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Variant covers for Marvel Comics. Look at this. So that's that. Look at my hoodie. I'm an, I should probably read now. To update you, I am halfway. Let's fucking go. I did get pretty far. I'm 318 pages in. iconic chapter was just as I remember it. Amazing. I finished it. Believe it or not, it's been over a week since I started this. Even on the second read, it was just as action-packed and fun and whimsical. I think my official review of this would be a 4.75. I have little gripes here and there, but overall this is an amazing book and it technically could be a standalone. So if you didn't even want to read the other two books, like you, you could. I'm going to take a smidge of a break before I start Wayward Son, but that will be happening soon. I'm really just happy to have reread this and to have loved it just the same. Well, thank you for coming with me on this journey. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, and a special goodbye from my baby boy.